last chart, we created VLANs for our physical home lab setup on PFSense. And right now, they don't work. And that's totally normal because PFSense defines networks, but it's actually the smart switch that makes them talk. So here's how I set up my VLANs on my smart switch. So on our switches GUI, we go to VLAN and we click on 802.1Q VLAN and we enable the configuration. Now, once that's active, we start adding our VLANs one by one. So we will give an ID, a name, and remember that these are the ones that we created on our PFSense, and we will choose which ports are tagged, untagged, or not members. And these are my VLANs. So VLAN 10, which is the admin VLAN, will have port 1 tagged, 2 and 3 untagged, and the rest stays as not member. VLAN 20, which is Proxmox, will have port 1 tagged, 4 untagged, the rest stays as not member. VLAN 30, which is my dev VLAN, will have port 1 and 4 tagged. VLAN 40, which is my Kali VLAN, will have ports 1 and 4 tagged. Then VLAN 50, which is my storage VLAN, will have ports 1 and 4 also tagged. VLAN 60, which is my Vuln VLAN, will have port 1 tagged and port 5 untagged. Now, with the rest of the ports that I didn't use on PFSense, I will create another VLAN. And the ID will be 99, the name will be unused, and ports 6, 7 and 8 will be marked as untagged. And this is just to keep them isolated. Then we go to PVID setting. So this is where we link untagged ports to their current VLAN IDs. And this is because every untagged port needs a PVID so the switch knows which VLAN to place the traffic into. So in my case, ports 2 and 3 get 10, port 4 gets 20, port 5 gets 60, and ports 6, 7 and 8 get 99. Finally, while setting up your VLANs on PFSense, if you chose the static IP address for every VLAN, then we go back to PFSense, we click on Services, then DHCP Server, and finally LAN, and we disable the DHCP Server, since our VLANs already use static IPs and we don't want PFSense handing out addresses automatically. Now everything finally works, PFSense defines our VLANs and the switch enforces them. But still, a lot of people get confused here because what exactly do untagged, tagged and not member mean? That's exactly what we will talk about on our next short, so stay tuned because that short will come soon. Bye bye!